Life is a battle. Our bodies are always defending themselves against invaders. The body's defense against invaders is called immunity. Immunity is of two types. Innate immunity is inbuilt and adaptive immunity is acquired by training. In this segment and the next, we will talk about innate immunity. Think of the walls of an ancient city. The walls keep out marauders while letting in supplies and benefactors. The defensive walls of our bodies are the surfaces exposed to the outside world. For example, the skin and the lining of the digestive, respiratory, and genourinary systems, these surfaces provide a physical barrier. Just as there could be moats outside of a city wall, our body surfaces may produce fluids to trap or destroy the invaders. Examples would be the mucus of the gastrointestinal tract, or the acid in the stomach, or the antimicrobial enzyme lysozyme in sweat and tears. If an invader, referred to in medical terms as a pathogen, slips in unnoticed, the body's police takes care of it. The police of the innate immune system are the phagocytes, the innate lymphoid cells, and the natural killer cells. Of these, the most numerous of the phagocytes, a word that literally means the cells that eat, these consist of neutrophils and monocytes in the blood and the macrophages in the tissues. The police recognize pathogens by molecular patterns in their bodies that do not occur in human cells. These patterns are called pathogen-associated molecular patterns, or PAMPs, and the pathogens cannot mutate away from them because they are needed for infectivity. The recognition of PAMPs is accomplished by specific receptors of the cell's innate immunity. These receptors may be on the cell surface or inside the cell. For example, toll-like receptors are present on the plasma membrane and in endosomes. These were first discovered in Drosophila fruit flies in whom the absence of such receptors caused extreme vulnerability to fungal and bacterial infections. The job of the natural killer cell is to destroy abnormal cells of the body such as those infected by viruses or ones that are turning cancerous. The normal cells of the body are spared by the natural killer cell because they have proteins on the surface called self-class 1 major histocompatibility complex. Infected cells and tumor cells are not able to show these proteins on the surface and are marked for annihilation. If at the site of invasion by the pathogen there is not enough police, specialized cells send out messages by releasing chemicals called cytokines that travel to various parts of the body and recruit more cells of the innate immune system. The classic example of a cytokine producing cell is the mast cell. Innate lymphoid cell mentioned previously is thought to have a similar role. There are also chemical nets sprung by the body that trap the sneaky invaders. An example of such a net within a body is the complement system, an intricate system of plasma proteins that are activated in response to invading microbes. We will discuss cytokines and the complement system in the next segment, Innate Immunity Part 2. A unique type of cell present in almost all tissues is the dendritic cell. Dendritic cells connect the innate immune system with the adaptive immune system. They are non-specific killers of invaders, but they then present the remnants called antigens to the adaptive immune system for recognition and for massive and specific response to such invaders in the future.